Okay, I've got a short video here of the pump that I made to run my centrifuge. Uh, I'll make it real quick. I used a Dodge, a mid 80s Dodge one ton power steering pump here. Here's the suction from the pump to the manifold. Here's the discharge from the pump to the manifold. I had to work with what I had. Uh, I also made a cap out of a piece of radiator hose and a a uh, reducer or a bushing, plastic PVC bushing, adapter, and a valve so I can prime the pump when I first start it up because it doesn't always have uh, vegetable oil in it. Also, uh, cold vegetable oil tends to gel, congeal, so you put some really hot vegetable oil in the top here that'll get this all freed up if you just happen to let it get cold. Uh, I set this up like this. For a reason, I wanted to be able to use the pump for more than one function. So what I did was I had the pump discharge and suction here, and I had the discharge going over here to the centrifuge, and I've got the suction coming from the oil, which is detachable, so I could put a stick in the in the barrel. Uh, I can adjust the pressure by recirculating the pressure of the discharge of the pump back to the suction. If I close down on this, I'll raise pressure to the centrifuge. If I open it, I'll drop pressure to the centrifuge. And if you've ever tried to use vegetable oil when it's warming up or it's just getting into its cycle, it takes a while to get pressure right on a centrifuge. And you cannot exceed 90 pounds when you're putting pressure to this thing. It'll pop the seal out of the, out of the uh, little spinner inside the centrifuge. Okay. Now, if I wanted to do something else with the pump, I could isolate the discharge and the suction here from the oil and, and the centrifuge. And my plan is to also use this pump to circulate the vegetable oil in the barrel through.